This is not a Rolex Explorer. It's got the hands, also the bezel, and now even the size. So what makes it different? Hint, ask your mom. It's that time once again. It's watches and wonders, and you know what that means. From here onward, for every three seconds, you're going to be bombarded by expensive timepieces that cost an arm, a leg, a kidney, and sometimes a brain. And of course, Rolex releases. Now, if you're a watch pirate like me, who doesn't have the money for a trip to Switzerland, nor have a joke of a weightless game akin to a Jimmy Kimmel show, then you're probably going to settle with the next best thing, which is a Baltany Explorer homage that now comes at 36 millimeters. Of course, as we've seen in the Rolex teasers, there's probably going to be some 36 millimeter Rolexes out there. And aside from the price, what makes this uh, homage an alternative to a Rolex Explorer? Well, let's find out. While many watch fans feel great at flexing at how much they spend on that brand new Rolex that they paid on the wait list, we Asian watch pirates love our moms. Because our moms always told us that there's always more happiness in getting a discount than there is than giving one. And I guarantee you that many watch pirate moms out there will wholeheartedly endorse buying watches in Baltany's website where you can find quality timepieces at a very low price. I'd like to emphasize quality there as based on my experience, Baltany has provided some quality timepieces with comfortable fittings and desirable profiles. This is also due to the fact that they are homaging some legendary timepieces that has stood the test of time, such as the 36mm Explorer from Rolex. I won't judge you though if you mistook this for the real thing, but you can rest easy as that guy beside you who has less than lawful intentions can tell that a Rolex Explorer has never had this kind of dial. At just over $200, it's an exceptional deal for a decently specced watch. And at just $200, only your Asian watch pirate mom will scold you for being so reckless at losing it. While you have it lying around, you can take advantage of its versatility. You can swap a leather strap on this thing and it changes to a more casual beater that most people will respect. Or maybe most that will at least pay attention to. Using this decently decorated strap from Baltany, you can wear it to your heart's content without worrying about, well, wearing it out. I've reviewed many Baltany watches before and I must say, they are weak when it comes to straps. But this one is more than serviceable for this watch. If you want a true upgrade in the strap department, you can't go wrong with an integrated rubber strap from Tempo Mat. This brown rubber strap sits somewhat flush on the case, although some gaps may appear with the slightest of movements. This features some keeper holders, a practical feature that all straps should have in my opinion, and a very comfortable fit because of its soft rubber material. The next level from here is a quality band from our channel favorite Artem straps. On this fabric NATO, it already looks like a match made in paradise as the polished hardware just pairs amazingly with the case bezel. Give it a fair shake and it just might turn into a Hydroflex strap. But don't kid yourself, you're more likely to be scolded by your watch pirate mom for buying this strap that's more expensive than the watch. But hey, it's totally worth it. These are really the best in the industry and will last you a long time with its exceptional durability. The same durability that has been the signature of the brand's sailcloth strap. I know so because this particular one was relentlessly abused by a watch pirate mom aka my wife, not a sponsor. As you can see, you can have this paired up with any strap and you're pretty much set with almost all situations, saving you the trouble of buying more watches, a definite plus to watch pirate modern laws. Now how about comparing it in between sizing options? Beside the 34mm Granddaddy Seiko 5, it's really not that far in comparison. This shows how far our sizing preferences has come, but at 2mm over, the Explorer can still be accepted today. The great thing about this is that you don't have to endure the good old shake to wine technique as we now have the luxury of modern calibers and materials on this modern day Explorer. I don't have an actual Rolex Explorer lying around, but I do have this Submariner collecting dust in my rum stash. This Baltany Explorer may have been aping the crown, but it doesn't have the crisp finish of the real thing. 
course, we can't expect more from a watch that costs less than a brand new link of the watch that's right beside it. So what's the point of comparing? Well, even Rolex is still producing these smaller watches, recognizing the market's demand for vintage watches. If Rolex sees that, I'm sure that other companies like Boltony would follow suit. Some of you had the same ideas. Robert John Kemp says, I have a Boltony and to be honest, automatic movement sounds rather rough. It will serve me well until I can afford that Hamilton khaki. I5E says it's lovely and so do uh, Jim Black 8104 seems that they're copying their own comments and finally Oak Tree 1628 says your wrist is more suitable at a 36 millimeter watch this looks way too big on you and that's on his comment four months ago on the original Boltony Explorer that is the current perception I remember the time where bigger watches were the trend at least now, my marginalized wrist can also be included in the popular collecting culture. This smaller explorer retains the great dial finishing of the original, but now on a more pleasing proportion befitting my wrist size. But here, they also added something new like a signed crown. The bracelet is still spaced tightly, very similar to how an oyster bracelet feels. Of course, it won't have the micro adjust, but I can't complain too much over this $200 beauty. The polished chamfer of this clasp is also admirable with a solid closing and trigger action that outperforms your Seiko deployment. Time and time again, this area of the watch is where microbrands often offer the better value and quality. Lastly, we have a bare case bag that's not too different from the original Rolex Explorer. Also like the original, there is no quick release spring bar, a hint of disappointment there. What is different is the chocolate dial and full patina of this piece. The enamel treatment over this sunburst texture is simply stunning to see in real life. All the prints are very clear and all of them are done in a consistent beige color. Add the polished hands and this gives a lively impression that everyone can appreciate. And yes, you can see some specks of dust on these elements but at least you didn't spend thousands of dollars on owning one. Also noteworthy are the numerals, which gives it a considerable break from the Bataan indexes, adding a hint of personality to this model. Again, this is more of a compliment to the Rolex Explorer, which is what it's trying to emulate. It's got all of its hallmarks, but executed in a way like how an older Explorer would age without the decades of use. At least you have a better loom than a vintage icon. Boltony built its business model around offering horological legends without being a straight-up replica. Some may contend against that, but you won't win against this stubborn watch pirate. Unless, of course, if you're my watch pirate mother-in-law, that is. This brand is not happy with simply replicating the icons. It still tries to deliver something different. Not just for the sake of being different, but something that's actually enjoyable. The bigger headline here is the fact that it goes far well below the affordable range, something that Boltony can pull off because it leverages its large production runs, in turn lowering their costs. It's the best itch scratcher this side of Rolex and a great way to get on the good side of your Asian watch pirate mommy. And that is the Boltony 36mm Explorer. Honestly, I don't even know what kind of model they're designating this. But it's a really desirable and really well-made homage from Boltony. I can't believe that they're able to execute such a quality with such a budget price. Now, there are other uh, features that makes it distinct from the Explorer, such as that really nice enamel chocolate dial and that um, already full patinaed um, loom and this I can see many people will be um, uh, buying uh, because there really are some really solid tolerances when it comes to the bracelet and the, the heft of the metal is amazing and for uh, that kind of value I think many people would buy this kind of watch so what do you think would this be an alternative for you especially that you don't have that uh, rolex money nor the time to wait well comment down below let me know and those really good comments will make it into our show that's kind of massively delayed because of some work that i'm doing at the back end but hopefully we'll be able to feature some of your comments once again so comment 
once again so comment down below let me know what you guys think about these uh, new Baltany Explorer 36.